All right, all right, all right. What is up? I am at Malia, as you read the title of the video, taking a walk from uh, Potamos Beach, uh, walking towards the, like, Malia Beach. The, right now, I am at the Malia Beach. That's the iconic church. Very nice. The sea is a little bit wavy, although it is not that windy. Yeah, but I can see people uh, at the beach. Well, there, of course, you are aware of the new rules that 70% uh, of a beach should be left free and the uh, umbrellas should be four meters away from the sea. That's a good thing. That's when I heard the news, I was happy. I was like, it's a good news. The beach can be preserved and it can be like it will be open for many people but what i noticed walking on the beach is uh, something that uh, completely uh, changes this uh, whole idea of the beach being free and being uh, better and more accessible i noticed some families they are bringing 
uh, like food items and they are bringing toys for their kids and all of them they are not like weltering how to keep the beach clean oh by the way it's uh, right now uh, i'm uh, walking in front of this uh, pleasure beach and this is open people are already having a good time here so if you are someone who is thinking about coming to Crete Island and Mali especially early this summer right now of course there are some services open but back to the sun beds rules and about the uh, giving open space so that's what I noticed and I noticed them not being uh, like aware of their surrounding and I noticed some things being washed back into the sea by the waves and I don't know from one side I'm happy it seems like a good idea that there is more access for the people uh, on the beach from the other side people are not behaving and respecting the beach and bringing lots of items and leaving them uh, on the spot and making the beach uh, kind of dirty and uh, unpleasant for the next people to come and if this would continue well who is gonna clean that at least these hotels if they would put their sun beds here they will be taking the responsibility there will be somebody that they are paying to keep this area clean because of their business and imagine now if there are no sun beds and no umbrellas and this beach is in the hand of municipality and in the hand of people i wish people could respect the beach and keep the beach clean so we are here faced with a challenge anyways right now uh, i'm la just about to arrive to the thalassa uh, taverna In the past, I've been uh, walking around and many times I've uh, explored and walked this part of the Malia Beach. I've never been to this uh, western side of Malia Beach. So today I will be taking you for a small walk also on the western side of Malia Beach. And if you are someone who is staying uh, on this side, so you will get to see as well. And if you are someone who is planning on staying on this side, Hopefully this will this video will help you. Let me know what are your thoughts about that this beach situation. And yeah, the weather is uh, warm. It is. It feels on my skin under the sun like about 25, 26 degrees. And if it's not windy, you can really get uncomfortable with the heat. I'm already sweating. And of course, you can grab a cocktail or the drink of your choice and hang out on the beach i guess they are uh, trying to get the seagrass out of the beach at this part of malia beach yeah so yeah that's what i feel like mentioning and i mentioned it i don't think uh, there is anything more than this is pretty straightforward the beach i'll be showing you so from potamos beach until this area like then that street which was where the Talasa Taverna and restaurant was that's like the main party street so I have covered every single little and big beach from Potamos in Malia and we will be covering also the rest to, to have all the beaches included in this video so you can look at every single beach and uh, understand and see how it is what is it all about yeah
The western side of Malia Beach is actually not bad. It is nice, shallow. I can see the waves are a bit calmer in this side and uh, less stones like entrance to the beach is quite shallow. But the only uh, con being these uh, buildings like quite close to the beach, not leaving enough room uh, for the beach. Like this is the sea and I can see it's about 12 meter like you can see behind me it's about 10 12 meter from the wall of this hotel till the sea and that's being a little bit down and here we have the some sort of hotel i theo theo star beach theo star beach is here and they have already their sun beds out and i think they're bar area is also and cafe and bar, bar area is also open yeah cafe bar restaurant there you go walking on the western side of Malia beach I noticed three of those pipes uh, laying on the beach I don't know what it is if it is a temporarily some sort of water exit I don't have any idea by, but whatever it is it feels and uh, seems a bit uh, uncomforting I guess that's the right word it's like what is it <laughs> question mark
and now I'm walking on another beach on the western side of Malia. Uh, the beach is quite huge and uh, shallow but wavy as every other beach we saw and here we have like a, a big resort i think i'm not noticing any other entrance to the beach other than the resort and the end of the beach uh, the i can read the it's written on the sign icaros icaros or icaros Oh, I hope I'm not butchering the name, but at the end there is that resort over there. The beach is uh, being kept quite clean and nice, uh, as the rules suggest. It's quite away, and she is doing some crazy stunts, <laughs> flipping around. <laughs> yeah, so the beach is. Uh, Oh, I was distracted by uh, she doing uh, back flips and front flips. I missed the shot. Yeah. So, yeah, there is Icaros and then the beach is finished. But for your information, there are sunbits and umbrellas on the beach. Well, this part of the beach is quite nice, shallow and clean. If it's not wavy and windy, it's a good match for the families. And now we are ap approaching the end of the beach and then I can see the Icaros beach sign over there. Yeah, and it's quite windy today. So I am also already noticing a lifeguard here. He is uh, being uh, cautious and protective because of the very big waves. As you can see, that's a good thing. And yeah, I think I'm gonna walk from the Icaros beach uh, in, within the Icaros uh, resort and explore a little bit inside the resort, yeah.
this place is so cool. If you look at the greenery and the flower and the palm trees, it just looks breathtaking. I'm already feeling like, like the, you know, the premium feeling that you get. <laughs> Imagine those who are staying and renting uh, places here, getting massage and eating in these restaurants. It is so, so luxury. Maybe one day I will be able to uh, afford to stay in places like this. And this, look at this swing here. Well, if you are paying a premium for uh, a place, then it means you are getting a premium for the money that you are paying. And uh, yeah, this is like an excellent experience just walking through these ways and, and looking at the architecture and looking at these suites. I'm pretty sure this, these suites here, they have uh, a panoramic view towards the sea yeah which is which is quite amazing huh <laughs> All right, so this was the Icaros. Of, well, I, it seems it sounds like a five-star hotel and resort with all these nice decoration and swimming pool, everything. And now we are at the edge of uh, getting to uh, Stalis. And here we have uh, a road in front of me. this one and if we go further we will be back at the sea coastline and on the beach So I think this part belongs to Stalis and this part belongs to Malia, uh, the beach before the Icaros being the, the last one. That's what I assume. I'm not uh, absolutely sure. And this is like the kind of public road, but you also have like the from the Icaros 
uh, hotel, you have also balconies and entrances with some, like a table, furniture outside, but this is the road and we have this nice greenery on this side and behind it, as you can see, it's just empty land over here. Yeah, and, and now I'm, I'm gonna walk uh, on this street. Hopefully it's gonna lead me back to the main street and we are gonna take a little walk on the main street uh, from Icaros towards the center of Malia to see what's going on and what is it all about. By the way, today it is Sunday, uh, the 15th of, no, the 14th of April, yeah, 2024. All right, so I had to grab a drink. I was very thirsty, an electrolyte drink. And now I'm out of Icaros. If you, if you remember this corner, if you would go this way, then you will find, you're gonna find yourself in Stalis. And if you would go this way, this is gonna connect you to the main road. There is another road which is a little bit mainer than, than this one. And then there is the highway. And if we continue straight forward, then we are walking towards Malia, which we are going to do that one. So uh, here we have a taverna open. Uh, it's called Original Taverna Golden Fast, and then. After the taverna is the supermarket here. We have Anisa Hotel here with some with the restaurant in front. This one is open. Cocktail lounge is open here. And they are also playing very good music and I have to continue my blah blah. 
in order to keep the copyright claim away. A little bit of a uh, bit till <laughs> bit blah blah keep the copyright claim away <laughs> yeah and this is i guess the kernos beach Uh, and exactly the I when I said on the beach I can see a resort and there this one is the Kernos was that resort which I was noticing yeah and I didn't I didn't know about any of these places until I walk here they these resort resorts look quite uh, epic they are uh, uh, big and they are they look very beautiful yeah Special offer, 6 on the beach, <laughs> 3.5 and Mujito 5 euro. This place is open. <laughs>
I gotta be honest with you about the one thing on the eastern side of Malia Beach I've noticed many entrances at least more than four or three to get to the beach and Potamos beach being the most open one with free parking dedicated area with a taverna around it and on the western side I'm seeing like hotels 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 and right now I'm walking on the street I haven't noticed one uh, open and uh, open for public entrance to the beach and that's the downside of it yeah and uh, if you are uh, walking and if you are hanging on the western side of Malia Beach uh, which I covered on the last part before walking on this street uh, yeah the entrance and the exit is uh, a bit tricky yeah uh, but the beach being nice and shallow this is the street connecting uh, Malia with Stalis and this is a very lively street when it at maybe at the mid May, end of May, start of June these taverns, all of these services uh, look in front of us right now studio hotel cocktail bar here as you like you can see here this one very nice design very nice place it's uh, it's open and uh, also they are showing live sport and here behind me is uh, a car rental uh, company this one is uh, open as well and then we have this uh, Mezes traditional Greek garden restaurant and their garden is like over there this one seems like they, they will be open but not open yet so every now and then here and there some services are open and uh, some services are not completely open yes, yes, yes. oh hi how are you, see you. nice seeing you how guys you? okay cool <laughs> yeah and that was nice <laughs> Uh, seeing uh, people uh, and those who watch the channel that's a nice thing uh, yeah so they even you are here now every now and then here and there yeah and then we have another taverna over here this is open so actually what to expect if you are a party person I don't think the that the party uh, place is fully open but I have to come here at night time and see what's going on like on the main street of Malia where the reflex bar and uh, like zigzag on all of those lollipop these bars and clubs are but other than that if you come here you're absolutely gonna have a good time the sea the sea water is a little bit chilly manageable I can go even uh, early in the morning in the evening it's possible to go swim but it is uh, a bit chilly yeah uh, so yeah let's let's explore Malia I'm getting close to the center and to the party street
It seems like they are fixing some electrical wires at the moment. Got to be careful. And they are upgrading the whole system, I guess. Yeah, and they are installing new cables. And we are at the party street of Malia at the moment. I kind of, uh, I, I could see with my eyes, like the Dutch flying man bar is open and I am quite positive that the Red Lion uh, is also open. But looking at the rest of Malia, I think it's quite early. Yeah. Maybe in the next weeks, I will, at night time, I'm gonna come here to take a walk and see what's going on but at the moment yeah it's like everything is just sleeping We have a tourist market open here. Not much going on. Everything seems nice and clean, ready to go. Yeah, so I'm gonna walk to the main street. Uh, here nothing is going on. If I see anything, I will start recording and I will show you what's going on. Zigzag is uh, doing uh, an upgrade, as you can see. Okay, so here we have wasabi sushi noodle bar. This one is open. I kind of understand the reason uh, Malia being not completely open and I was thinking about it. Okay, so here we have uh, a bar and it seems like they are going to be open soon. They are working on it. Yeah, but what I was trying to say, if a place is only about partying, if it's only about 
the like I you know what I mean it's like if it's you rely on very specific demographic that they will come and they will party uh, then that's gonna happen but in the meantime if Malia would have provided some services like early in the season and also uh, late in the season then I think this place not would have been as closed as it is right now compared to Shirsonisos. Speaking of Shirsonisos, in the coming uh, days and weeks I will be also uh, walking around Shirsonisos as well, showing you Shirsonisos also the beaches uh, uh, as well. So that is, uh, it's not like there aren't any tourists, there are tourists everywhere but they are not choosing to, to hang out here because everything is closed and everything is the businesses are kind of based on the specific demographic and a very specific lifestyle if if it was a little bit uh, if it was a bit if it expands a little bit towards uh, welcoming people with families and also providing services like good services if somebody uh, wants to go out and eat these kind of things other than just being a party and club place I think this place would have not suffered like the lack of tourism if we compare it to Shirsonisos I'm pretty sure Shirsonisos is already way way busier than many places uh, on Crete Island uh, on Crete Island yeah and right now we are almost at the very center of uh, Malia where the churches and the taxi stop is right in front of the old town of Malia Galaxy food and drinks uh, from 1975 this one is open here and then we have here another one this is also open not at the moment but they are gonna be they will open in afternoon and right in front of us is the old town of Malia and here we have like kind of it's like the kind of main street of Malia where the daily local life takes place and here I can see uh, places being open bars taverns yeah And here we have a Giro place, which is also open. They have takeaway and also you can eat at the spot. And we have a chicken grill area here. This is also open. Chicken grill Malia. If you are into chicken.
and here we have the coffee island they are they, they are a good coffee shop here i have a espresso machine that i bought from them and uh, the boy who is working here he told me he grind me some uh, fresh beans and they were that coffee tasted so good now i'm gonna ask him to grind me some more because i need it i'm running out of it and then we will continue still our walk so there you go i have my freshly grinded cafe for my espresso machine and uh, we are we are gonna continue our walk uh, into malia <laughs> And at this particular area we have a supermarket and also if you can notice in the background we have the banana shop which are selling the local bananas from the Malia. One is over there and the another banana shop is over here. This is a product of Malia. They have potatoes and they have bananas as well. Be very careful, careful when you are uh, crossing uh, the streets in Malia. It's a bit tricky. Yeah, I'm, I'm scared sometimes. The drivers are coming fast. <laughs> so this is another way from here. If we just keep walking, it's gonna easily uh, take us back to Potamos Beach. And right here we have another mini market. Like if you are just on the go towards the beach, you can grab a drink from here. And also there is like this uh, rental company for bikes and everything. And if you continue straight here, on this way, it's gonna lead us to Malia beach, uh, to Potamos beach, yeah. So now I'm gonna continue walking towards the beach. And uh, if we just keep walking, keep walking uh, downhill, uh, we are finally going to be at 
put on Moss Beach. So yeah, this was it, uh, a walk about in Malia. You saw all the beaches and you saw at the moment what's going on on the main street and a little bit of the party street, which is kind of sleeping. Of course, I will be uh, walking towards Shirsonisos and of course, uh, Stalis is also in the list coming up. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed this video and there was anything uh, helpful in it for you or in entertaining. Uh, if so, then give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts, recommendations uh, in the comment section. If you want to support the channel and support me, my PayPal account link and Patreon account link in the description. And if you are already having a good time, then consider subscribing. Other than that, until the next time, peace. All right, the last bit and piece of information. In the morning, these toilets did not exist. And now we can see that they've brought some toilets here. Very fresh. And hopefully they are gonna stay fresh and clean. Yeah, so we are back at Potamos Beach. And this is the newest update. And I saw a man running from the beach towards the street and he was uh, showing that he he suffered the heat from the sun while he was walking on the sun so that's one indicator don't forget your sandals while coming to the beaches like this it can really get hot really really hot yeah I can see the kids running uh, on the beach. They run directly to the sea, to the wet sun, to kind of cool their feet down. Yeah. Of course, and one last thing, the taverna over here at the Potamos beach is open and they have lots of customers. And it's a very nice location as well for a taverna, for a coffee shop. And man, this is hot. It's very hot. To the limit, if you were walking about 10,000 steps under this heat, you're, you're gonna, it, it's gonna start, begin to feel uncomfortable. And speaking of the taverna, it's filled with people. Yeah, nice location. And here in the other side, we have Potamos Beach. All right. Folks, I hope you had any voice. I wasn't using the mic. So, yeah, peace.